Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Salty and Sweet. My name is Hermes. My name is Sarah. And today we're going to be visiting the, the Netherlands. Netherlands. Oh, I didn't get the memo. It's okay. We'd like to thank our very special friend, Inga, for getting us all these snacks. This is actually just part one of I don't know how many. Yeah, again, this is going to be a two-parter because we have so many snacks and Inga put her all into it and we're super, super excited. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. Yeah. All these different flavors. I already have like things that I'm like looking forward to tasting and I can't wait to find out what it tastes like. Yeah, but before we get started, if you are new to our channel, please like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And on that note, Let's dig in. Our first stop in the Netherlands is Hamka's. Hamka's. Inga said this is her favorite, and it's one of the first things that she eats when she goes back to visit her family. And she uh, better not disappoint. <laughs> yeah, I think it's ham and cheese. So ham and cheese. This is totally up your alley. And it's by Lay's, which but we don't have it here in the states. Huh. It's like waffle fries. Yeah. Interesting. Smells like bacon bits. Yeah. Friday would love this. She would. Let me try it. It's very crunchy. It kind of has that um, Funyuns kind of texture to it. Mm -hmm. Ham is very prevalent. Yeah, it really tastes like ham. Yeah. As far as the cheese goes, yeah, it's there. It tastes like smoked ham. It does. It does taste like smoked ham. Which I'm not a huge fan of smoked things, the smoked flavor personally, mm -hmm. but I'm impressed with how much it tastes like smoked ham. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Would you say this is dangerous? Well, the thing is, is that I don't really love smoked ham and it tastes just like it. So while I'm super impressed and I feel like everyone else should absolutely love this, who loves that flavor, for me, it's not my favorite. I love the texture. I kind of love everything about the chip. It's just not my flavor choice. So for me, each chip I eat, it gets better and better. So I think it might border dangerous because the more you eat it, you're like, oh yeah. That's good. Oh yeah, that's really good. So, Hamka's, who knew? This is great. I think it's dangerous, borderline dangerous, in between delicious and dangerous. For me, it's between decent and delicious, but that's only because of my personal tastes. I don't think Inga's gonna be happy about that. So, we've been putting all of the licorice candies to the very end of all of our videos because it's what we kind of dread most, but we're gonna change it around today and try two licorices back to back. This one is interesting because it's not black, but Clean. it really smells like licorice. And it says that this company is from 1876. There's a lot of <gasps> really old candy companies still around from the it, Netherlands. It smells like an uncle. That's what it smells like. It's Ooh, it's pretty strong. It's like if your uncle smelled like Jägermeister and he didn't shower for a while. <laughs> this is kind of what it smells like. Oh boy. It smells like the licorice to me. I mean, the the mold that they use for this is really cool. Yeah, it looks like it's like a, a coin. Yeah, <laughs> bottoms up. <laughs> oh. It's a harder licorice. Yeah, but the inside's actually softer than the outside, I think. It's not it's, as intense as uh, the Swedish ones. It's not as intense and it's a little salty. Oh, like yeah. the Swedish ones. Oh, I, I taste the salty now. <laughs> yeah, are you giving it a decent? What are you giving it? My past reviews have been, if I were to put my mind into someone who loves this stuff, it would be delicious. But for this one, it's kind of hard. I might actually go decent. I just kind of want it to be one or the other. It's either go crazy or just be mild. Mild. This is in the middle. And it's kind of stuck in my teeth, so now I'm going to have to suffer tasting it for a while. That's okay. We got more licorices up next. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, it's a carrot-shaped licorice death. I think we should try the little round ones. So which one do you want to try? I'm going to try... I'm just going in. I can't handle these. <laughs> what is that? It's like the ones... It's like the Swedish ones. Oh, this... you're trying that one. Yeah, I'm going to try this one. So okay. it's the clam. Oh, yours is chewier than mine. It's not chewy at <laughs> all. It's just a brick? I mean, it's really hard. I can't even bite through it. Don't break a tooth. This one has the um, like salty inside. I don't know why, but it reminds me of a cannonball. Like an actual cannonball. Yeah. Not like a candy cannonball. No, 
the one that I had, which is the clam, it's got like very, very mild licorice flavor. Hmm. Chewy. It's, it's hard. I mean, it's hard. You're kind of like chewing through it. Doesn't really have a taste. It's neither here nor there. So I would give the clam a don't. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a decent. I'm going to have to spit this out. I think we're going to move on from licorice today. <laughs> Uh, what is this? This is called Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. And so this is a traditional peppermint from the Netherlands from 1892. Peppermint. 128 years old. And it was named after the queen at that time, who was only 12 years old, when this company was celebrating their 50th anniversary. So they made this new peppermint. 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 It's like a fancy looking package. <laughs> It's almost, it almost kind of looks like medicine or a bag of flour. They kind of look like uh, dishwashing uh, tablets. <laughs> oh yeah, I <laughs> Like miniature that. dishwashing tablets or chlorine tablets that you put in the pool. Not talking bad about it, it just kind of looks like one. And they have the queen's, uh, the queen's face on them. Very minty, not like an Altoid though. Not overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's just mint. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely something that my grandma would have had in like a little candy, glass candy jar out in the living room. Mm -hmm. Sarah, would you like some Bellaminas? Pretty much. It's kind of decent because it's just mint. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good mint. Yeah. But I think we need to go decent because how many mints would you have in a row? So you have to on this for a long time. Well, it's a pretty big piece of mint, mm -hmm. so. Uh, we have Boletia Pepsils. Oh my God. I think it has cheese inside the pretzel stick. It's like an intense looking That's combo. All. Okay, I guess co maybe Costa's cheese. Hmm, I don't know. I don't Is know it cheese? I should have looked that up. Let us know, YouTube. Pretzel sticks. <sighs> but I want, I can't wait to break this open. I used to be fans of pretzel sticks and then I stopped loving them Why? after a few years. I don't know, I just kind of like grew out of them. But if these look like they have cheese in them, might be pretty good. It has cheese in them. This is pretty good. Yeah, these are pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked I haven't seen these before. <laughs> I think this actually might borderline dangerous. Yeah, it's getting there. I almost need to try one more. <laughs> you know, you could just keep snacking on them. The taste is really delicious. It's nice and salty. The cause is really good. These are really good. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they make them in peanut butter flavor because I love peanut butter pretzels. I don't. <laughs> you don't know, but I'm giving these a delicious. I think it's dangerous. I mean, I could totally see that. I really like the, I like the flavor. I love the concept. I like that they had this man climb up a little ladder and pour the cheese into the pretzel. Genius. <laughs> yeah, he's the cause man. He's such a good little chef. Oh. Those are good. Dangerous. Holistic Daddy. Room butter stroop cooking. Ten stooks. So these are going to be like caramel cookies. They're really similar to the stroop waffles that you might see around, except they don't require a waffle iron. I don't see them around. Where are they around? <laughs> they sell those in the stores and on the airplane. They hand out the little stroop waffles now. Maybe it's JetBlue. I don't know which airline. <laughs> I have never had a Stroop waffle. I've never had like a proper one, but I've seen them in the little, they have them at like Starbucks and like a little wrapper thing. Oh, I don't go to Starbucks. They're pre-packed. I don't know. But these <laughs> seem more legit. I'm really excited about these. So it it's hand. a caramel filled cookie. Do it over the table. <laughs> a messy one. Whoa, look Whoa. at that. We're gonna get a close up of this one. That was like a beauty shot right there. Yeah. Looks so caramelly. It does. It smells sweet. I mean, it's a crunchy. It's a biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's like um those Biscoff biscuits, where it's very buttery, light, delicious, and then the oh. caramel is like I'm making an absolute mess. The caramel is a really chewy caramel, holding the whole thing together. Yeah, for me, I feel like the caramel is kind of overpowering though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's the focus of the cookie. Mm. I think it's really delicious. Caramel isn't my favorite sweet. I'm still gonna give it a delicious. I just wouldn't go dangerous because I couldn't eat a whole thing of these. They're really rich. It is really rich. I might actually go decent on this one. Wow. Yeah. I think it's just the caramel. It's just a little too much for me. I am making such a mess. 
I can't imagine how they like give this to kids. You're also a messy eater. That's true. Decent. Delicious. <laughs> Old man lays at it again. Lays laying it down in the Netherlands. Wee, wee, wee. We have pit, pit, Pitachia Yoppi. Yoppi. <laughs> it's like you're still over in Poland or I know. <laughs> Patatje Yoppi, I think. I don't know. Yoppi. It's, so we thought that it was um, French fry flavor, but I just looked it up and it, I think that it's actually the sauce that you dip the French fries in. And I think it's a mayo curry sauce. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I guess, the, and I guess the Yappi sauce is really popular in the Netherlands and Belgium. It smells pretty good yeah, if you does. like mayo and curry. I don't like mayo, but I love <laughs> curry. Holy crap, this is great. <laughs> yeah, these oh, are man. really good. What? It, it does taste like curry for sure, but doesn't it taste a little bit like those Dijon mustard um, pretzels? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of blown away. I know a lot of people like, for example, Cool Ranch Doritos. Imagine Cool Ranch Doritos if they had this flavor. Well, Doritos, not Cool Ranch Doritos. If Doritos made a flavor like this, it would kill. It's really good. It's freaking fantastic. Yeah, it's like a mix between a curry and a Dijon mustard flavor. I'm speechless. This is so good. I think this is dangerous for sure. For me, these are somewhere between del uh, delicious and dangerous. Because it is a really powerful flavor, so I'm not sure if I'd be able to eat too many of them. Yeah. But it is really delicious, and I love the flavor. I mean, Larry says, bursting with flavor, and it is. Divertwede smack van lees patatje yopi chips. Dot perfecti gebakken en herlijk gekrid elk chipze ziet barstevol smack. I don't know what I just said, and I probably pronounced everything wrong, but... It's the chips talking. <laughs> I love that they're called Yappi too. I think that's a really cute name. So good. Yappi. Yappi. We have Chio Kasson Emmentaler flavor. <laughs> Kasson. I, I guess Kass is really cheese. I've been to Amsterdam. I loved Amsterdam. I've never heard of this stuff. I never even really like went and got any chips or snacks or anything like I mean, that. I was pretty basic when I went there. You used to travel wrong. I travel wrong all the time. Look how fun these are. That's, that's adventure. Whoa. Oh. Look at this. They're like little pieces of Swiss cheese, but they are airy. Wait, are they a chip or a cracker? They're in between. They're in between. I love those. <laughs> You're gonna be shocked because I feel like you're leaning towards not liking these and I think these might be dangerous. Really? Uh-huh. I was gonna say, the more I bite into it, it's delicious. I don't know about dangerous yet. I love the like crispy, airy texture to it. That's like my favorite kind of snack. Like that's when I keep popping and I can't stop. I think it's just because it's a different kind of cheese that I'm used to. I've heard, I've seen this cheese before, but I don't know what how you say it correctly. But- The cheddar? I really like it. <laughs> no. No, it's more like a Swiss cheese. It's but like, I really like it. It's a little bit more of like a sophisticated yeah. cheese taste. It has like a, just spit all over me. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's, it's very tangy. It's like a tangy kind of cheese. Mm -hmm. It's got a zing to it. I would say this is delicious. I love them. Here we have Red, Red Band, Band Stop Post. And this was a selection from Inga. And when she was reviewing what things were, what they translate to, this one is Stop Cough. So, Stop cough. I, I, I mean, it's a throat lozenge, but I don't know if it's also a candy or if this is going to taste like menthol. <laughs> I mean... I don't know if we've been eating too much today, but I don't really taste a lot. I taste it. Mm. It's like got a mint to it. Um, now it's coming it's through. It's a sweeter mint. I don't know if we're rating this as a throat lozenge or a candy. It doesn't really taste like a candy too much to me. It's like a sweet Altoid. Yeah, yeah. And after dinner mint. Yeah. That's what it is. Pretty good for that. Yeah. I'm I, gonna go with decent. Decent? Yeah, I go with that. Mm -hmm. It's a decent. Vocals. Is it vocals? Vocals. Yeah, that's another Lay's and another Lay's that we don't have here. And Lay's. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, these look fun. These kind of look like one of the snacks that we had 
Bangladesh. In Bangladesh. Yeah, it does. It's same kind of light, kind of airy, kind of chip. It's a twisty. It's pretty good. Kind of like a Pringles. <laughs> Is it kind of like Pringles? In flavor. You know what this reminds me of? Shoestring fries. It's oh, yeah. very, very tasty. I love shoestring fries. It's literally that in chip form. I like this. I think these are great. <laughs> this is definitely a dangerous for me. Yeah. You could put anything on it. I mean, if you were to put the um, like you could dip them. Yeah. If you were to put the curry mayo on this, oh it yeah, would that probably would be good. really good. Even ketchup probably. Mm -hmm. Or like an onion dip. Mm hmm. Yeah. Waffles. Wow. Yeah. What the heck? I think they're really good. They're uh, they're a twist. They're a fun twist on potato chips. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going dangerous or delicious. You're going dangerous. I'm going dangerous. It's the texture Touch. and the crunch yeah. and the flavor just comes right after and it's very, very nice. That crunch releases the dopamine. <laughs> wow. The snacks from the Netherlands were really, really amazing. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Inga, Lisa, and Rafi, you guys crushed it on selecting the snacks to send us from the Netherlands. And this is only part one. I know, I know. <laughs> there, there were some snacks which we will have to prep for part two, mm -hmm. which we actually have to prep. So that's why we kind of like, yeah. kind of pushed it off for the next one. But I mean, if the bar is high for this one, can't wait for the next one because we've enjoyed all of this. Yeah. This is insane. Uh, except maybe the <laughs> licorice. Oh yeah, the licorice ones, but you know, personal preferences. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I loved all the chips. I really like these yappies. I'm still obsessed with these cheese cracker chips. I really, really love those. I, I feel like thinking back on it, these Wilhelminas, I maybe would actually give delicious. I don't know, I really like them. Like I had to spit it out because because we kept filming, but I kind of wanted to savor it a little bit longer and I just kind of like the history behind it. So I think that they're a solid mint. Like as far as mints go, it's a, it's a pretty good mint. My favorite is definitely this one. Yeah. The Yopi. It's so good. It's so good. So this is tops of everyone. And then the little curly ones. What are they called? The Wuckles. Oh, the Wuckles. Oh, it's so good. Those were good too. I mean, <laughs> I got crap for basically saying that this is decent. I mean, I could go from decent to delicious. It's just a it's, it's too much for me still. But they're really rich, but they're it's really delicious. Very, very good. And these are gonna be hard to give some of them away. I think that we're gonna keep snacking on some of these for a little bit longer. Yeah, we're probably gonna be heavier in the next uh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. Really great flavors, really great textures, yeah. good crunches. It had it all. Netherlands, you got it all. I've never been. Dying to go. Oh, you gotta go. Netherlands, you are the best. Thank you so much. Can't wait to do it again. And with all that said, take it away, friend. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Yeah! <laughs> and subscribe.